Hello, my name is Roman Jinji Hashvili, and this is the DVD on Center Counter. Now, we have made it before Center Counter DVD, theoretical overview, but this one is completely different. It was a while ago since I made DVD on Center Counter and brought some interesting variation, interesting analysis not previously published in modern theory, but this one is different because we are not going through whole opening. What we are doing, bringing you completely different view on the center counter, some new interesting and very well hidden possibilities that have been previously missed by both sides. And also, I will see new ways to handle positions that are known as much better for white or big advantage for white. This is not exactly so every time. And I have great examples to go with, by. So, remember, Every opening that you analyze or you play, except for the openings that knowingly bad, has hidden possibilities. And if someone says, no, there are no hidden possibilities, that's not true. It's not always easy to get to them, to find them, but together with powerful engines such as Houdini and Ripka, we can find them. You have to feed them ideas. And after I fed them some interesting ideas, I came up with some tremendous discoveries. I was very much surprised myself. And I want to share them with you. That will bring you new view on the center counter, the variation that I suggest. And you may find yourself also hooked on it. So sit tight and watch this DVD already mentioned. As you remember from the previous DVD, I was a second for Gata Kamsky in a match against Anand match was tied, I suggested to play center counter to Gata. He has never played it. So as I already mentioned, we cannot go through every variation and every possibility for white. So I want to focus on some main continuations. Well, but I cannot give you brand new analysis and new suggestions without refreshing what is before. And I introduced new ideas and new interesting analysis and interesting continuations, and he played. Well, game was against Anand, ED, Knight F6, D4, Knight takes d5, knight f3, bishop g4, bishop e2, knight c6, c4, knight b6, d5, bishop takes f3. In this position, I have had, prior to this game, several times, and I have to refresh it in your memory, if you saw this DVD. I had it a number of times and I've had people taking 
on f3 with the bishop and with the pawn. Somehow, I had, we had strong suspicion that if this happens, Anand would take with the pawn. Now, let me quickly go over this reasoning. Well, if bishop takes, the knight e5, now you see the pawn on c4 is hanging, bishop can go back and now taking c4 pawn obviously loses after queen a4 check, so white will have to go b3, and after c6, black has good position. Well, this was all known, and this was played before. Bishop e2 was played, and c6 was played. Let me quickly remind you what can happen here. In the one game that I played, actually it's important game, was played against Grandmaster Hellers. I have to show this game again because this game becomes essential to understand this opening. So after bishop e2, c6, and now 